Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I want to share with you five different reasons you may not be losing weight on your one meal a day diet journey. Because I have had multiple different people on my YouTube channel at different times on different videos say that they are not actually losing weight with one meal a day or they have been and then they've stopped losing the additional excess fat that they've wanted to lose so i wanted to address the reasons why this may be happening to you with the five different reasons that i mentioned in a short while and the first one can be due to a deficiency in chromium and vanadium and these two nutrients are absolute key for regulating insulin. So if you're low in them and you're fasting, you're not gonna get the full benefits of fasting, lowering your insulin levels and improving insulin sensitivity. And insulin is a fat storage hormone. So by supplementing with chromium and vanadium in the most adequate amounts on a daily regular basis, and using the most bioavailable forms of each nutrient, you can go in the direction of resolving those deficiencies and improving your insulin by actually lowering it while you're in the fastest state even more and improving your insulin sensitivity. And what I can say is from my own personal experience I discovered this years ago when I had hypoglycemia and it actually cured me of hypoglycemia. And it's really good for helping resolve hyperglycemia and also things such as type 2 diabetes. And it's been a very extensive use supplement for a very 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 long time and it's just absolutely amazing because yeah it gives you those benefits but a whole host of other benefits your mental and physical health holistically so what i'm going to do is put some links down below for uk us and worldwide suppliers that sell the most highest quality chromium and vanadium supplements that can be delivered straight to your Door. And I would personally recommend taking the dosage on the bottle at least once every single day and you can take it with water on an empty stomach. I would recommend taking it just before you break your fast with one meal a day before you consume your first and only meal of the day. The second one can be just you are sitting around and being very very stagnant and sedentary. You don't need to be doing lots of exercise but I would recommend trying to exercise at least five times a week and just exercise to your fitness level. Do not push yourself too much because it will stress your nervous system out too much in your body and have a negative effect on your immune system, your adrenals and your other organs and your health holistically. So just be very mindful and train with exercise that you enjoy. It could be cardio based exercise whether it's running or swimming or even playing tennis or volleyball. It could even be strength training with bodybuilding or calisthenics. Just find what you love because by doing what you absolutely love with exercise that you enjoy the most it's going to make sure that you stick to it consistently and if you can try and do some body weight exercises known as calisthenics and or bodybuilding combined or on their own and then try and do some cardio multiple times a week that's going to maximize your weight loss benefits and what i say is i have been for about the last two weeks doing the calisthenics four times a week like i normally do and then doing high intensity interval running pretty much every single day and my body fat is massively reducing even more and i was already around the seven percent body fat so i can vouch for this. So this is just something to be very, very mindful of. The third one can be due to specific nutritional deficiencies. For example, so many people are chronically deficient in an essential mineral known as zinc. And if you're low in this, estrogen levels will go up and testosterone levels go down. And this is why so many males have low testosterone levels as they are getting older. It's more of an issue with men because when you release sexual fluids you lose around 2.5 milligrams of zinc every single time and a lot of males do this on a regular basis this is why it's more of an issue for them but even females have issues with being low in zinc because most foods are very low in zinc and if you've got a zinc deficiency and you're even eating zinc rich foods they may not even be high in zinc for example pumpkin seeds are meant to be high in zinc but if it's not zinc in the soil it's not zinc in the pumpkin seeds and then you're not going to be getting it so you cannot rely on a food source alone and there's also other specific 
received the nutrients that if you're deficient in them it will have the same effect estrogen will go up and testosterone levels go down and so many people have issues with this so what you want to be making sure that you're getting the broadest spectrum of nutrients in a supplementation form to make sure you're getting every nutrient that you can have to have optimal estrogen and testosterone levels and health holistically in your mind and body so what i'm going to do is put two links down below one for a cheaper multi-nutrient supplement and one that costs more the one that costs more has a broader spectrum of nutrients in higher doses so i recommend that you get that one if you can afford it if you cannot then get the cheaper one. And I recommend taking the maximum dosage that is mentioned on the bottle at least once every single day. And make sure that you take this one with food that you have with your one meal a day within the day. And yeah, never consume this on an empty stomach because it can make you feel sick. So that's something to be very, very mindful of. And the fourth one, which a lot of people are probably gonna think, I'm saying you're eating too many calories, but I'm gonna tell you the opposite. A lot of time people are not eating enough calories and I've seen it time and time again with a lot of people out there whether it's on one meal a day or eating multiple meals a day that they do severe calorie restriction they start to lose some weight and then their body stops losing any further weight and I remember speaking to a friend of mine called Michelle and her sister had been doing severe calorie restriction for ages and she couldn't reduce her body fat anymore but then once she started increasing the calorie content she started to lose additional body fat. And why would the body do that? Because it believes it is actually in starvation mode and it wants to hold on to everything. So what I have also found from my own personal experience, since eating more calories, around 1,000 calories additional a day, I went from 8% body fat down to about 7% body fat and lost 2.5 kilos more of body fat and increase my muscle mass at the same time. So that's my own testimonial to that. So do not be scared to increase your calorie content. Give it a go and as long as you're taking all the supplements that I've recommended to create those deficiencies as well, you're going to easily keep losing weight. Do not be concerned about this at all. There's a lot of myths around you needing to calorie restrict severely to lose weight and yeah, it's just not necessary from what I have seen from a lot of other people and my own personal experience. And last but not least, which is number five, it will coincide with something that I mentioned earlier, and that is actually being estrogen dominant. And so many people have an excess of estrogen within the body. One of the main reasons is due to xenoestrogens, which is a chemical form of estrogen that is found within plastic packaging and things such as bottled water and tap water it's also in birth control it's in so many different things and for a lot of people it's not completely avoidable and when you're consuming these xenoestrogens estrogen levels go up and testosterone levels go down and when you're estrogen dominant you lose muscle mass and actually gain more body fat and actually also have more water retention as well well so you really want to be trying to get rid of any foods that are in plastic packagings for example never microwave your food that is so high in xenoestrogens and it completely fills the food full of radiation and denature it's just not good for you whatsoever and make sure that you're drinking a clean source of water one of the cleanest waters on the earth which is pure h2o when you look at the chemical structure is distilled water. This is what I drink and I recommend it to anyone. It's shown to increase nutrient absorption. It also hydrates you a lot better and it has a whole host of other amazing benefits as well. And if you don't know where to buy distilled water from and you cannot get it in a shop, what you can do is buy a mega home water distiller. And what I'll do is put some links down below of UK and US suppliers that can deliver the most highest quality mega home water distiller to you, which I've used for about five years. My family members have got them, friends, clients, and they absolutely love them and it removes all toxic substances such as pharmaceuticals which are found in trace amounts in tap water, any parasites if it's in there, bacteria, fungus, pesticides, herbicides, heavy metals, all these other toxic substances. So yeah, it's just literally pure H2O with nothing toxic added to it whatsoever. And alongside that, you wanna be taking something that is natural that will actually lower the estrogen levels within your body. And the supplement I'm gonna recommend for this is DIM, D-I-M. And this is an amazing estrogen blocker out there 
that is derived from natural sources. And for this one, I'm gonna also put some links down below for UK, US, and worldwide suppliers that sells the most highest quality dim supplements on the market. Not all of them made equal, so I highly recommend that you get those ones down below and take the suggested amount on the bottle every single day and you will find within a month period or so it will dramatically start to lower estrogen levels and massively boost testosterone levels so you can start gaining more muscle mass lose water retention and lose body fat but please be aware if you're on birth control you need to come off of birth control otherwise you're going to have massive issues for the rest of your life with actually losing all of the body fat that you're looking to get rid of so that's it for this video if you have any questions leave them down below and i get back as soon as possible if you like the video like it down below give us a thumbs up and i'm sorry if there's any background noises i'm not sure if they're going to be there but i can definitely hear them and they're bugging the life out of me and yeah please share this video with anyone that you think needs to learn about why they're maybe not losing weight with their one meal a day diet journey and if you haven't already click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more one meal a day informational videos from me on a regular basis many different videos showing you what i eat with my one meal a day mukbang videos as well calisthenics workout videos calisthenics progression videos intermittent fasting videos and many other videos to help you go in the direction of achieving and sustaining the body that you desire the fitness levels and the energy levels that you desire as well so if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. And I have new ones coming pretty much every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.